up bright and early. Got a busy day ahead of us. Uh, decided to start it off with a run. Only did a mile, but it's before eight. Very tired, kind of hungry, so. Finished uh, editing yesterday's vlog. It's almost done rendering. Um, while she's going, gotta head to the grocery in a bit. So, whew. I'm gonna take it easy for a moment. <laughs> okay, it's uh, 9.08. I wanted to say an eighth, an eighth past the hour, but Quarter, the pa quarter past the hour, eighth past the hour doesn't work. Anyway, 908 right now, and um, we got a lot to do today. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick run to the grocery store, come back, fix up laundry, and then probably head to Best Buy. I wanted to go to Micro Center, but that's quite a bit of a drive, and Best Buy has everything I need. Maybe it's like maybe eight, anywhere from like within a range of like $10 for the thing I want. And uh, it's probably like worth it cost wise, but uh, gas wise, it's like a gallon of gas or two. It works out in the end and saves me time. So I'm gonna head to the store, pick up some quick odds and ends, come back home, touch up on laundry, uh, go pick up what am I doing? I'm going to Best Buy, coming back home. Then we're going to get some computer funny business. Uh, I mentioned that a couple of days ago, uh, we talked about the drive failure. Got a new hard drive. So we're going to, so what we need to do, because these are formatted in such a way that I can't use them just yet. What I need to do is toss them into the goods, the, my file server uh power off so i need to like power off my file server remove all the drives because i'm going to be deleting data and i do not want any risk of losing data so i need to slide out all the drives toss this drive in and uh then format it and uh in order to do that well it's, it's just gonna be a pain so i'll explain more as we start doing that but um yeah, let me, let me run to the store right now <laughs> and stop rambling. Okay, it's a quarter to uh, 11 right now and uh, we got quite a bit to talk about. Uh, ran to the store, picked up everything I needed and uh, came back home uh, and got started on the uh, hard drive reformat. You can see it going on behind me. Uh, I would have gone to Best Buy, but Speaking of laundry's done, I need to go check on that as soon as I'm done filming. Um, yeah, Best Buy opens at 11, so I'm uh, going to head there after I finish up the laundry. So here's what's happening. Um, we've got these bad boy hard drives. Uh, speaking of, this one is... I don't want to touch it while it's running, but uh got these hard drives, which are um, serial attached SCSI, which is uh, SAS. And they're kind of used in servers and whatnot, so it's why I have them here. Um, they're typically made to last forever, as most hard drives are, but like the server sites ones are, you know, more resilient and whatnot, but you get better information. They're just better, better than SAS. Anyway, um, the issue with the one I ordered is that it is formatted in a 520 byte sector. Meaning that um, typically uh, hard drives will be formatted in like 256 or most commonly 512 byte sectors, which is something that most computers can read. You add uh, the extra bits for the 520 for like security and more like data redundancy, but since we're using this at home, it's not really that important. The thing is, uh, this server, the one that it's going into, cannot read 512. This one can. So I needed to shut down uh, this server. And then what I did, hopefully I can tilt the camera down low enough, uh, there we go, is that I popped out all the drives that were in there so we have no chance of formatting these. So once uh, the format is done here, we're at like 10% uh, done and it's gonna, it's gonna take a while. So the plan is to uh, move it from here, from the, uh, 
one that's being formatted in it, put it in the server, we'll configure it there. And then hopefully this one will boot without an issue because we bo booted into a different operating system that's hosted on a USB stick instead of the one that's inside of the uh, server that we normally boot into. So long story short, we need to just take the drive that it ordered, um, configure it in such a way that it runs on this server. It can, that configuration can only be done on this server. So once the configuration is done, we'll put it in here. Hopefully everything is works well. Uh, I popped in the dead drive here to uh, see if it was really dead and it's, it's throwing errors, so that one's dead. We'll have some fun with it later. I have an idea, but we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening now. I'm going to uh, go finish up laundry and then we'll head to Best Buy. Back at home and uh, you can't really see it, but there's a drive right there installed. Uh, you can see the screw like right here and that's the drive. It's terrible lighting, but uh, we uh, managed to screw it in. Uh, I'll go into that briefly. Let me switch to the other camera. Okay, it's uh, much later than expected. It's uh, 5.20 right now. And, uh, yeah. Uh, this, wow. This uh, format finished. So I'm going to ha go ahead and uh, change all the drives out. Uh, I do have to go pick up my dad from the train station uh, because my mom dropped my grandma off back at her house. And is still in the process of that. So I've got to run to the train station about 40 ish minutes. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to, yeah, do what I said, hopefully get everything up and running and make sure it's all good. Uh, once that's done, I haven't touched the, um, drive just yet. Um, actually, let me talk about that briefly. Uh, where did I put the packaging? Uh, hold please for like 20 seconds while I stand up, scan the room and, uh, notice that I did not. Uh, well, I lack. <sighs> this is a common thing with me. Um, I just take things, pick them up, and like, like with my phone, I'll just put it somewhere and forget about it immediately. So, uh, excuse me while I find the packaging for this drive. Okay, turns out I did remember where exactly it was. Uh, it was with the other uh, computer hardware stuff that I keep. Uh, so we picked up a WD Black uh, 500 SN750 uh, 500 gig model. Uh, no reason, just because like that's what Best Buy had in stock. And um, I'm gonna put this right here. Yeah, it's it's what Best Buy had in stock. I didn't really want to go out to uh, all the way to Micro Center to see anything. Um, they didn't really have any other 500 gig things and. I really wasn't in the mood to drive anywhere else. So picked up the 500 gig model. It's I wanted a 500 gig. I didn't want to spend too much and I didn't want to um, get too large of a capacity or too small of a capacity. I felt 500 was a very good um, starting point and price wise it was fine. Uh, so I picked up WD Black. I would have preferred a Samsung drive like a Evo or 970 or something or whatever they call them. Uh, but it's whatever. Uh, so now that that's installed, I, I am heavily debating how I want to install Arch. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. So I'm going to take care of this and then, um, here, let me, uh, pseudo, oh, it's going to be very clicky, so I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to take care of this and then, uh, we'll talk when I'm either done with this or back home. So, catching in a little bit. Okay, so after quite a bit of troubleshooting, we finally got this guy working. Uh, we popped the drive in, and then we needed to reconfigure everything on the, uh, on the OS so it would recognize that the drive had changed and there was no data there. So we did that, and uh, it took a while because I can't read and the uh, letter, um, I was trying to do a command and the command involved the terminology SDB1 and I kept doing SB1 and that, that was an issue, so. 
one letter is all it takes. But hey, now we're we've got everything pretty much good to go. So I can focus on the fun stuff. And that fun stuff being um, messing around my computer tomorrow, so at least everything's set up here. For now, that's where I'm gonna call it for today. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow. And until then, later.